Good day everybody, this is Earl. Let's get to know local market research. I have students who come in to me all the time saying, I want to start a business, but I don't know how to write a business plan. I don't know about market plans. I don't know about market research. Well, there's a lot of information out there on starting a business and on business plans. Let's go over local market research. Basically what it is, is researching the customers in your market area, knowing who they are, what they are, what they buy. It's also knowing your competition, what they offer, who they are, when they're open, and what area of the market aren't they covering too well that you could come in and do develop your business and get a niche so that customers will come to you instead of going to them. So let's go ahead and look at it. We're going to assume we're a town of 5,000 people to make it easy. And this is just going to be a quick down and dirty on the subject. We're going to pretend that we're going to start a sub sandwich shop in a town of 5,000 people. First thing we're going to do is we're going to check the phone book, see who's listed in our community as restaurants and which ones of them are QSRs, quick service restaurants, which would be a sub sandwich shop usually. Uh, can be others as well. How many competitors are there in town? Not only do you check the phone book, but you also drive around. Where do you go to eat when you want a quick, quick meal? Go visit your competitors. Go shop and buy something at each of your competitors so that you can walk into the facility, see how they treat you, get an idea of their pricing, what they put on their sandwiches, etc. You could take a sandwich back to your house and deconstruct it and see exactly what they put on. When you get done visiting the facility in your car or at home, write down what you saw at that facility, at that restaurant, okay? That'll give you an idea. You're starting to do market research basically being a legal spy is what you're doing. Here's what we found by our initial screen. We have two national brand sub shops, one national quick service restaurant, QSR, that also sells subs, and we have three convenience stores in town that sell subs. Further, the two national sub shops are open six days a week from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. daily well, six days a week. Both make their subs fresh each day. One also not only makes them, but they make them to order. They don't make them ahead of time. So as you order them, they make them. Both have in-house dining, meaning seating, and on-site parking. That's an important ingredient in a lot of cases. Neither of them have a drive up. So that's something to think about too. Local market research continued. One national roast beef quick service restaurant chain also makes a line of sub sandwiches as well as its roast beef sandwich line. So they are a competitor. You have to look at that. Who is also a competitor? They may not be carrying exactly the same name, but they sell the same product or have some of the same product. Uh, this uh, roast beef QSR is open seven days a week from 6 a.m. to 11 p.m. All three of the QSRs uh, make their sandwiches daily that we've seen. This one also has in-house dining and on-site parking. Local market research. Out of the three convenience stores in town, one makes their subs fresh daily, has outside dining, meeting picnic tables, and on-site parking, but no inside dining. That could be a problem during the winter months. Something to think about. Two sell pre-made subs. They have no dining, but have on-site parking. All right, so it's a grab and go, take them and go, basically. All three of the convenience stores are open 24-7. Your research shows pricing between all sites was similar, because while you were in there and you bought their standard sub at each facility, let's say, you got an idea of their pricing. Parking was similar. You did find a couple spots that had no parking. 
Hours of operations varied from six days a week to seven days a week. 24 hours a day to 6 a.m. to 3 to 11. Most had their subs made fresh daily. You did see a bottle, bottleneck at the registers. What happens, they'd grab their subs, come to the register, and people have to wait to get through the line. So that may be an area you can address. You find a nice spot to sit down outside each of the uh, restaurants and convenience stores on public property, of course, so that they can't tell you to leave. <coughs> and you sit there and you do counts of customers. This would be another item you would do in market research. You sit out there from, let's say, the breakfast rush is from 6 to 7. So you plan on sitting out there from 6 to 7, counting how many people go into the facility. Do the same thing at lunch from, say, 11 to 1. And dinner from, say, 4 to 6, to give you an idea of what your customer crowds are like during that time. That'll give you an idea how many sandwiches you can sell. While you're safely observing each location, look for any truck deliveries. If you see a uh, delivery being made while you're setting up or whatever, observe the truck. Quite often you can see exactly what brands the uh, truck's offloading, you know, to get an idea of what they're having uh, brought in. That way you may want to contact those wholesalers. They won't tell you what they delivered, but they can give you an idea on pricing because you'll need to know the cost of your products too. Uh, what are the customer age ranges? From your observation, you can see, are they teenagers, preteens? Are they young adults, 20, 30 year olds? Middle age, 30, 45, 50? Or are they senior citizens, 60s and up? This will give you a breakdown of what your customer base is going to be. How many subs do they buy? You can always ask a couple that walk by if you know them, and if you don't, you just eyeball the bag. Is it overflowing? Is it look like one in there or two? These are all important things. You're gathering information. That's market research, and you're doing it locally. Anytime you're observing a location, it's not a bad idea to let the local police know what you're doing. I recommend you stop by the office ahead of time and tell them, uh, that you're going to be doing this. You know, you want to sit where it's safe, out of the way, non-obtrusive, on a park bench or something, and just observe everything. And that way, if they get a report, they'll know what's going on. You, if you're doing it on public property, generally you don't have to ask permission to observe someone's facility. You don't want to be annoying, you want to be out of people's way. But those are general rules. Again, I'm not an attorney. You always want to check with your legal counsel or your local police on any questions you may have, but this is basic market research. That's it. This is Earl. I hope this has been very helpful to you. You guys get out and have a good day. Thank you.